Hello everybody and good day to you all today. I'm talking about Riverdale season number two, episode number 19, chapter 32, Prisoners. The episode was directed by Jennifer Fang. And here we have a lot of things going down in this crazy small town of Riverdale. Okay? Well, we have some reveals. We found out the, the, the Black Hood killer dude, he's still alive. And Archie was trying to tell the sheriff this. I don't think I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead. I think I think he set up this guy to make him think he was him. But I think the real killer's all still out there. And well, and, and Sheriff's saying, no, Archie, you dumb little boy. I'm the sheriff. I know what I'm doing. And the Black Hood is gone, okay? He's dead. We don't worry about him no more. He's out of the picture. And Archie says, I don't think so. I don't think so. And Archie's not usually right a lot of times. And I don't like a lot of his decisions. But this time he actually was correct. The Black Hood Killer is still alive. And because of this, a girl who was performing in the, in, the, in the school play gets killed inside the school. I don't know how he got into the building and did it where everybody's around. But she's dead. That, that sucks. And because of this, certain people... Cheryl Blossom thinks that the sheriff should be put out up, should be, should be, should be, should be fired. That the sheriff should be fired and paid for somebody who is a lot more competent. Because, because Cheryl doesn't believe he, he knows what he's doing. And a lot of other people don't, doesn't back him at the same time too. Especially the, um, the Hodges. The Lodges, I'm sorry. And they want to get Veronica involved. And she, Veronica says, I ain't dealing with that mess. And so they, and so they go to Cheryl, who pretty much voice her, her pen right away. Does she, does, she, does, she, does she think the sheriff is um, good enough to do his job? Now, the interesting part about this now, they're having a funeral for this girl, and everybody's there, and you got Cheryl singing, and I'm trying to figure out where did they get the, the, the whole um, the cheerleader outfits from? I mean, they are about wearing black cheerleader outfits for somebody, like, when they had the time to order, the, get these suits, things special made, order them, bring them in at the time for the funeral? Like, like wow, that's amazing. Like, how, how did they do that part? I said, Oh well. And since that's happening, we have some other we have some other people who are back who we thought was going out of the picture. We have Nick St. Clair. He's back now. He's healthy now. He's out of the hospital and he's he's well and he's pissed off. And so he wants he's gonna get 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 his, get his revenge on Veronica by going after Archie. He he now he doesn't go by himself like a man. No, he gets some he gets some of his friends and they attack Archie and they take him away. And then they go to then they go to Veronica and ask her to get the for a ransom saying, If you don't give us this certain amount of money, we're gonna kill Archie or whatever. And then Veronica says, what? Not my man. And then she goes to her parents and says, hey, um, dad, mom, um, Rick Nick Sinclair, he has Archie. He asked me for money. So when are we going to pay him? And they, they just, no, we're not going to pay him anything. He ain't related to me. Archie, that's, your, that's your boyfriend. Sorry. I mean, we like Archie and all, but I guess it was his time. And Veronica says, what? And so she decides to handle things herself. And she does a quite a great, amazing job. And then when you got that situation going on, you got you got the situation going on with Betty, um, Jughead, Chick, Alice, FP, and, and Hal. Hal Cooper, who I don't like. I don't think anybody does. Hashtag no one likes Hal. And so now, for reasons unknown... I also decided to go back to how, for, like I, I don't understand why it makes no it makes no sense. They don't get along at all. They, they, don't, they don't seem like a happy couple. But for some reason they, they they're trying to make this crappy relationship work, and it's just painful to look at. Like you can tell she doesn't really love him, and he barely loves her. He barely even there, and most of the time they fight or they're something together. So I, I really don't get it. But either who, so they found out that chick is not um um Alice's son. Yeah. And he was lying the whole time, but actually not really. Because they, they tried to call him by her, her son's name, and he said, no, 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 I'm Chick. Call me Chick. Because that's who he is. He's Chick. He's not her son. But he made her, but the thing is, though, even though he did tell her that in some way that he's not her son, he made her think that he's her son, so he can stay in the house and pretty much do whatever he wants. I'm not sure exactly what trying to, his, his end goal was. But he has a house that he has a house he can stay in. He has somebody who's dope and taking care of him. So he's the people living the high life right now, and he and he managed to separate her from a lot of her from her husband and from her daughter. And so yeah, and so now the truth come out that he's not really just the son at all. And so you got um, Betty, and you got Jughead, pretty much water torturing him to get the answers that they want. 
find out exactly what happened to the, her, her mom's actual um, son and her brother. And if he had anything to do with it. So you got that going on. And so... Things get crazy. Things get crazy, but but things get revealed, especially between Alice and FP. You find out about their relationship, what relationship they had as a, um when they were a couple, and that they actually had a child together. And the child that they had together, they thought was uh, they thought was chick, was actually was supposed to be chick, but it's not chick. It was somebody else. They actually did have a child together, and that's the child that Howl wanted to get rid of, which explains why Howl wanted to get rid of the baby in the first place because it wasn't his. Ah, oh, the reveals. Because I already knew they, because I always knew they had a relationship, and I always knew that something was going on between them. I just didn't know that if they had a child or not. Yeah. Overall, I did enjoy this. I'm still not quite down with the whole story on with Archie and this whole want to want to be a gangster situation. I don't like that at all. I think it's way out of character for for this guy. I mean, I understand he wants to, but protect his father, and I understand he wants to protect Veronica, but him going on this dark path and, and trying to pretty much be, get on the right hand, trying to get in favor with Veronica's dad, Hiram, I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Like, the thing is though, Archie has a father. He has a father who loves him and supports him, and who will stick up for him no matter what. But for some strange reason, he is, he is so gung-ho on being in favor with Veronica's dad, Hiram, who he knows is a gangster, who he knows is not on the right path at all, does a lot of things that's illegal, but yet he wants to be in, get, get on his good graces for reasons I don't understand. I mean, yes, I know he loves Veronica, but come on now, dude. Really? I mean, I, 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 you willing to sacrifice everything you believe in, your morals and everything like that, just to make your her father happy? I don't, I don't get it. I mean, and, and not, I, 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 I can see it if his dad, Fred Andrews, was not supporting him, constantly pushing him down, constantly telling him he's not going to be anything, and then he, and then that out of his insecurities, he ran to Hiram Lodge because Hiram Lodge was there for him and supported him and gave him the nurturing and care that he wanted to get from his father. But he did, that's not the case. His father is actually on his side. His father actually loves him. His father is actually there for him. His father will be there for him no matter what. But yet, he keeps trying to run. He keeps running to the opposite person. Which, I'm, it makes no sense to me. Hey, Archie's supposed to be the good one in all this situation, the pure-hearted one. But yet, he... he He's go so so ho he's gun hold to being dark, and I don't really like that. I like that at all. I don't like that. I don't like that storyline. I don't get it. I mean, uh, I mean, I get it. Everybody try. I got, I got a little dark edge to him. You got me. Got Jughead. He with the serpents. You got Veronica with her dark passenger or whatever you want to call it, dark herself, and she. So I I, I guess so. I mean, even even um. Veronica was trying to, they trying to make her like go on the right path at one point, and now she just decided to hook up with her family and be all dark. Cause for, at first, she was so going home against being like her father and doing and going on that path of that family business, but at the same time, she's helping them. And but the, it's, it's so weird, with Veronica, because sometimes she's helping them with their with their crap, and then at the other times, just I'm not getting involved in that. I don't want to be involved in that. I just and then and then other times she want to protect Archie from the from the from it. But she wants to dive into it too, and I just—it's—it's it's so confusing. It's confusing with her. Like her, her storylines keep, like her story just keeps switching around all the time. Like, just, like what does she want? Does she want to be a, a gangster, or she, or she don't? Does she want to be good and do things good for people, or she wants to manipulate people? Like, just, I don't quite understand where she's going or what the direction they're trying to put her in. I mean, certain people are consistent. You got Cheryl; she's consistent. I mean, she's a, she, she, at the moment you can tell that she's that she is a good person, but she can't help her. She can't help it. She, she can't help being, being being vindictive and manipulative. And that's, that's pretty much who Cheryl is. You kind of understand her. Betty, she has a little bit of a darker side, but she's still kind of consistent, like the way she's going on too. It's only it's only um, Archie and and Veronica are the ones who are. Well, at least Archie is consistent in this one thing about. Going after the guy in the black hood, he got that in his head. He thought he, he has to do that for reasons I don't understand. But still, nonetheless, it is what it is. So there are parts of this thing I actually do enjoy. And there are some, but the, the storyline, like I said, with Archie, I'm not really down for. I don't really like it. I don't like it at all. I wish it stopped soon. But 
what can you do? So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Riverdale. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Let's take my word for it. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it too. So leave my channel. Give my channel a big old like, thumbs up, shabam, and subscribe to my channel and share. Also, also hit the bell to the bottom so you get notified every time I make a video. Like I always say in my dreams and in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.